Right, uh, in this series of videos we'll be looking at core 4 vectors and uh, I'm going to be starting off really from some of the basic kind of ideas and notation just to get us started then we'll go into more complicated stuff in later videos. So I'm going to start off with two coordinates A and B here. Okay, so A is 3, 2, minus 5 and B is 4, minus 3, 1. And these are three-dimensional coordinates because they include an x, a y, and a z. Okay, so what we can say is that if we just, for the sake of it, put some axes in some three D axes, x. Uh, um, well, people do at their axes in different ways. I'm going to put them here, y going in vertical direction, as we kind of recognise that usually. I mean. Uh, going into uh, later courses, um, they draw the axes around different ways. Okay, but for the sake of it, x, y, because that's the way we know x, y, and z, like coming out of the board towards the camera. I've just noticed how that might be <laughs> seen on the video. The hand getting larger. So um, if this is x, y, and z, and this is our origin at 0, 0, 0, then a is at 3, 2, minus 5, so 3 along, 2 up, and minus 5 behind the ball. So I, I'm just going to put A here, okay? And then B is 4, minus 3, okay? So it could be down, then up a bit, but just for the sake, I'm going to put B there, okay? But these are points in space, okay? And these are the coordinates for A, okay, and then if we're looking at a vector, then a vector that goes from the origin to A, okay, so you should know that a vector is a line with direction, so going from the origin to A, so if we call the origin O, I would write that as O to A with a line on the top, Okay, an arrow on the top rather, and that's equal to 3, 2, minus 5, because it describes how I get from O to A. I've got to go 3 in the x direction, 2 in the y direction, and minus 5 in the z direction. Likewise, I can have OB, okay, so a vector going from O to B. So this would be 4 in the positive in the x direction, minus 3 in the y direction, and 1 in the z direction. Okay, so notice how, yes, they have the same numbers, but this is the vector and this is a coordinate. Okay. Then we might be interested in, okay, well, if I know my vector from O to A, and I know the vector from O to B, what's the vector from A to B? Okay, so what we're looking at is the vector a, b with an arrow on the top. So the arrow is the direction from a to b. So if you remember back to doing this at GCSE level, you're looking at how do I get from this point to this point. If I know this vector and I know that vector, I can go back along OA, so AO effectively, and then go along OB, and then I will arrive at B. So in actual fact, what I have is that I will be going along OB and I'll be going back along OA. Okay, so I'm going back along OA and then along OB. So in actual fact, AB is equal to OB minus OA. If we'd labeled these vectors as um, that being C, that being A and that being B, then I could say that C is equal to B minus A. Okay, so notice how there are different vector notations depending on what you read. Um, some vectors will be have will be in bold, but because I can't write in bold, I put a line underneath. Okay, so I underline this to be a vector, B, or I could represent it as OB with an arrow on the top. 
Okay, you won't be penalized for using one or the other. So if AB is OB minus OA, OB was 4 minus 3, 1, and OA is 3, 2 minus 5. So in this example, okay, what we're going to get, and these subtract normally, as you would expect, 4 take away 3 is 1, minus 3 take away 2 is minus 5, and 1 take away minus 5 is 6. Okay? And that is the vector a, b. So, if you're looking at the co uh, if you're given coordinates, you need to find the vector between them. This is the method for it. Okay.